Good evening, good evening. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Hello, how are you? Hi, teacher. I am still driving to my home. All right, be careful. I hope you get better uh, to your home. Did you get soon? Be careful, all right? Yes. Is it raining yes, there? I... No, no yet. Okay, okay. Be careful, be careful. Yes, teacher. I will have my camera off because I'm driving. You understand that? Yeah, sure. No problem. All okay. right. When I right. when I arrive to home, I I put on my camera. Perfect. No problem. All right, so everybody, welcome to the class. How are you tonight? How do you feel? Is it raining in your cities, everyone? Or not? Hello. Hello, sorry, <laughs> I don't have a light on that. My phone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is it raining in your city? Not tonight, but yesterday. My gosh, <laughs> it was horrible. I know. I know it was crazy, right? A lot of wind. Yeah. It was a little bit dangerous, actually. So, but I hope all of you are okay. And I hope the weather doesn't affect their connection and we can have the class without any issue, okay? So everybody, tell me, how was your weekend? What do you do? Uh-huh. Anyone, what do you do during the weekend? Tell me, I want to listen to you. Oh my God! I have, teacher. I have to work. I oh. work every every weekend actually. <laughs> you never rest. <laughs> when I will die, you know that. I know. I know. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. It's better for me, teacher. I have to be. I have to be busy all of the time because I think everything wrong. <laughs> all right well if that makes you happy it's fine <laughs> no problem yes i'm happy <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay i'm happy with my life <laughs> that's excellent uh, not ev not everybody can say that so good for you all right and the rest of you everybody yeah definitely who else? What do you do? What do you do during the weekend, everyone? Anything interesting? Uh huh. I got many people here, so I want to listen to you, everyone. So, what do you do during the weekend? My goodness. Yes. Teacher. Uh huh. A lot of water, a lot of water, because the weather in my in my house in my con my country <laughs> in my town <laughs> uh -huh. very 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 hot and humidity. I don't know. If, yeah, and, and, I know. The, and this situation makes sweat and no sé cómo decir deshidratado, deshid dehydrated, dehydrated. Uh huh. And it's necessary to drink a lot water. All right, yeah, lot. important. Teacher, Very good. Teacher, yes, I'm. I'm here. I'm here, but I I work in information because the the my 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 boss <laughs> asked me asks me for information, and uh, because or, or for this reason 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 situation reason uh, I be I be listening in in the first hour, no problem, teacher. It's all right, no problem. Thanks for informing. Okay, but but I am I'm here. I'm here. But Excellent. I I think I know I don't I cannot work in a in a group because uh, I don't have uh, a note neuronas in my neck <laughs> <laughs> for, for two for two 
to to work. Okay. Yeah. No worries. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you, teacher. Appreciate. All right. No problem. Okay, everybody. Welcome to the class. I'm really happy to see you. I hope you had a nice weekend. I hope you enjoyed it. I know that the weather is affecting a lot of uh, cities in our country. So I hope you are safe and sound. I hope you uh, don't have any inconvenience with the weather, all right? I don't want you to suffer any damage and I hope you don't have issues with the connection. Now, today is Monday, we are starting the new week. Basically, everybody, we are starting the week number four. So just two more weeks and the level it's over, okay? So be careful, everyone, especially with the platform. I know that some of you already finished the platform. Some of you haven't finished yet, but we are in the week number two. Okay, so I'm sorry, the week number four, two more weeks, and basically the course is over. Are you ready for the next level, anyone? Yes, are you ready? Yes, I yeah. am. Uh -huh. And only some of you said, yes, I am, and the other ones? Care. Ah, very good, very good. So, you will go to the intermediate level number four, okay? So everybody don't give up. You are more than ready for that, but you need to practice. Remember that that's the objective in this intermediate level, to talk a lot, to learn vocabulary, okay? But sometimes I ask a question and nobody wants to talk. So no, this is the moment that you can talk. This is the moment where you have to take advantage of your English speaking skills. But anyway, let's start everybody. I'm going to share the presentation. Let's see. Can everybody see the presentation? Yes. yes. Excellent. Yes. yes. All right. So yes. today is April 16th. And as I said, this is the week number four. We are in the unit number three. And basically, we are going to study the topic basics of branding. Last week, we were talking about branding and different type of brandings. So today we are going to study the basics, okay? We are going to practice also asking questions in different grammar tenses. So I hope you feel ready for participating. Now, this is the class objective. I need a volunteer for reading, please. Me, teacher. Yes, please. Class objective, sketch the basics of the branding process for a person or a company. Thank you. So that is basically what we are going to do. More than talking about a person, we are going to focus more on a company, like a little bit more general. So before starting, I want to see if you remember the vocabulary that we studied in the previous class. What's the meaning of a product branding? Do you remember? What is that? Product branding. Yes, it is how a product interacts with its customer audience through design, logo, and advertising. All right, nice job. Very good, very good. How about personal branding, everyone? What was that? It's when, it's when somebody have a, a brand with, uh, with uh, the name of the person. Mm -hmm. For example, Carolina Herrera, for example. All right, that's true. 
So they use their own information. So if you see some YouTubers, for example, some influencers, they have their own names. So their own names, that's their brands. So basically we are talking about selling or marketing themselves. Very good job. Now, corporate branding. Do you remember what is that? Uh-huh. What is the meaning it's a of corporation. corporate? It's uh -huh. a corporation. Uh, uh, a group who have in your shelter a lot of brands. For example, the cycle like company. Uh -huh. That's it, right? And if you remember, we were talking about different companies. For example, Nestlé. Nestlé has a lot of products, right? But we talk about the entire corporate entity or Coca-Cola, right? If you see Coca-Cola is not only one product, they have a lot of products. Good job. What is the meaning of geographical branding? What is that? It's where you connection between product or an identity of a geogra geographical region. Very good. That's correct. So remember, there are some companies that the name of the company is based on the place that they are located, right? So good. And the last one, cultural branding. What is that? Uh huh. Do you remember what was the meaning? Because I mean, I, we have the concept, but with your own words, what do you understand for cultural branding? This is when you um, have a reputation or, for example, the cola champagne, or when you have, um, it's, a, it's a brand that is a nostalgic brand or, Something or national brand that that connect with with people with with the culture and the our countries or maybe perfect exactly like that. So there are some specific brands that makes you feel identified with them, with the culture, with uh, the place that they are located to, with their nationalities, with their values. So they makes us feel connected with them, right? So good, I like you remember the vocabulary. Now, let's see. I got here some pictures. I wanted to see these pictures and tell me what comes to your mind when you see the next brands. For example, give me a number. Can you pick Five. a number? Five, okay. Ha, ah, do you know this brand? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. So, what is the first thing that comes to your mind when you see this brand? As, uh, TV quality? Or... TV, quality, what else? Uh huh. What else? Cell phone, fridge. Uh huh. Very good. That's nice. Those are the things that come to your mind first. Very good. Give me another number, volunteer. Me? Yes. <laughs> Rosalina, give me a number. Six. Six. Okay, look at this brand and tell me the first things that comes to your mind. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, loyalty for me. <laughs> loyalty, nice, very yes. good. We will when you when some say, you want to drink? Okay. <laughs> the name That's... is similar, is, is the, the same, the beverage, no? Ah. You know? Ah. Yeah. <laughs> so it seems you liked it. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's, it's well for the helmet. <laughs> Terribly. <so> nice. <laughs> yeah. Do, do not, not use sure. <laughs> Yes, yes. 
Okay, but sounds good. Everybody, what else comes to your mind when you see this brand? What do you think? A lot of sugar. <laughs> Definitely. Uh huh. But do you like it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. Yeah, I love it too. You see, Miss. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to quit it, but <laughs> I just drank one before the class. So my goodness. <laughs> okay, uh, Rosalina, pick one of your classmates, please. Hey, let me see. I saw the name Erica. Erica, okay, Erica, give me a number, please. Okay, number eight. Okay, what comes to your mind when you see that? a brand very expensive and fancy <laughs> cars <laughs> ah okay very good very good what about you everyone what comes to your mind when you see that logo or that brand for me elegant okay Drug. 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 okay aha uh -huh. anything else would you like to have one? Expensive, yes. Expensive, definitely. A, a, a car of high performance. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, Erica, pick one of your classmates. Okay, let me check it. Jamie. Thank you. Jamie, give me a number, please. A number four. Okay. Ah, what comes to your mind? Um, um, a net, network. Networks, mm -hmm. okay. A city in the internet and that you can find whatever information that you need to know it. Very good. Anything else, everyone? Google, what do you think? A lot of information. A lot of information, very good. And Google. <laughs> and Google. <laughs> okay, that's a good one. <laughs> uh huh. What else? Useful or useless? Useful. Very useful. All right, very good. So let's see, uh, um, I need another volunteer. Who wants to try? Give me a number. Number two. Number three, okay. So Pamela, what comes to your mind when you see this brand? Microsoft, um, maybe innovation. Mm, okay, very good. What else? What else? Everybody, what do you what comes to your mind? A software. Software, good. Anything else? Computers. Computers, very good. All right. A volunteer, give me a number. Number 10. Number 10, perfect. Haha, <laughs> okay, what comes to your mind? Cartoons, movies, princess. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, that's good. Anything else? Children. Uh, okay, hold on and then Pamela. Children. Oh. Children, okay. Pamela, how about you? What do you say? Magic. Magic, all right. Very good, very good. Movies. Movies, definitely. Okay. Next one, volunteer. Give me another number. One. Number, number one. one. Okay, what is that? What comes to your mind? High quality of product. Very good. 
So it's pencil and <laughs> no battery. <laughs> <laughs> okay, definitely, totally agree. <laughs> what else? Uh huh. Anything else? Okay, give me give me another number. Volunteer. Nine. Nine. Perfect. <laughs> ah, hamburgers, definitely. What else? Ha happy meal or cajita feliz. Ah, very good. The, the happy meat box or just the yes. happy box? Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> what else? Unhealthy food, <laughs> but delicious. <laughs> Yeah, unhealthy that, but delicious. But delicious, right? Very yeah, good. Very delicious. <laughs> okay. A cloud. Yeah, very good. So um let's see. Number two or seven. Pick one. Seven. seven. Okay. <laughs> Functional. <laughs> Functional. I love you to remember the vocabulary. Nice. What else? What else? What else? Feed them others, cheaper than others. Very good. Yes. Reliable. Very good. Okay. And the last one. What comes to your mind when you see this brand? <laughs> uh huh. Shop in the Ah, very good. Online shoppings, what else? And prime videos. Okay. What else? The best delivery. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, right. So if you see everyone, every time that you look a brand, immediately something comes to your mind. Sometimes it can be something positive. Sometimes it can be something negative, right? So for example, uh, in Coca-Cola, right? Some of you can think, oh, delicious, <laughs> right? My favorite drink. But some others can think, mm -mm, pool of sugar, mm -mm, very unhealthy, mm, poison for your body. So you see? For some of you can be something positive, for some of you can be something negative. But the message that they transmit is another one. All of these brands, they are trying to share. They are trying to convey a message, all right? So all of them are trying to you to think something about them and that is basically what we are going to be talking about today okay but before starting i'm going to check attendance so everybody when you listen to your names say present um carlos abrego present. very good christian alexander christian alexander Okay, I think he's listener. Okay. Erika Yasmin. Present. Very good. Uh, Fatima Denise. Present teacher. Very good. Gabriel Beltran. Gabriel Beltran. Okay, I think he's not there, right? Oh yeah, he doesn't have electricity. Okay. Um, Hector Francisco. Present teacher. Very good. Isabel Hernandez. Present miss. Very good. Ivan Guzman. Present. Very good. Jamie Raquel. Present. Excellent. Holmans eh, Giron. Present. Very good. Lucy Natalie. Lucy Natalie. Present. Okay, very good. Magdaleno Escalante. Present teacher. Okay. Um, 
Nelson Antonio. Present. Very good. Oscar Armando. Present. Okay, Pamela Carolina. Present teacher. Very good. Rosalina Alvarado. Present teacher. Okay, Selvin Adonai. Okay, very good. Um, and Mirna Elizabeth. Present teacher. Very good. Okay, let's continue talking. Now, I have some questions for you. Can you see the presentation, everyone? Yes. Okay, I need a volunteer for reading. The first question, please. Me? Yes. Why is it important to create a strong brand for a product? Thank you. Uh, hi, everybody. What do you think? Why? Why is it so important to create strong brands for a product? Or increase your sales. Increase your sales. Very good. What else? Um, because <laughs> you need to that the your brand live in the mind on the customer. Ah, very good. That's a good reason. Uh huh. What else? For marketing position. Very good. So imagine the previous brands. Do you think that do they have a, a strong? Are they strong brands? The previous ones. Yes, yes. of course. Definitely. Yes. So something that can easily share or show or prove that they are strong brands is that you don't even need to see the name to identify what their names is. You just see the, this apple and you immediately knows the company. Imagine in the, in the number eight, you didn't see the name and you already know what they are talking about. So they are very strong brands. Now, the next question, volunteer for reading, please. Can I miss? Yes, please. What brand do you represent in your job? Thank you. So, what about you, everyone? Think about your job. What brand do you represent? For example, in my case, I represent in Sephora, but also Inglés Corporativo, right? How about you? What brand do you represent? For me, I do web consultants in the company that I work. Very good. Uh huh. Anyone else? Okay, my case, I work for Red Sync, okay? And the Very. brand is Credit Monitoring. Very good. That's the brands that you represent. What else? Hi, uh -huh, everyone. For me, teacher, I work with Meliora SA, but I feel represent Iron Man. Ah, very good. So you see, when we are part of a company, that's the brand that we start to represent. Now, the next question, volunteer for reading. Only Can one, I? please. Yes, please. Do you feel identified when the brows that you represent? Very good. So think about the values of the company. Okay, so for example, Inglés Corporativo, they always says that the mission is to help students to learn the language with a high quality so they can improve their lives. And for me, I share those values. I just don't want you to pass the exams. And if you learn, well, if you don't learn, well, no, I cannot be like that. I always try to my students to learn, to at least have a little fun in the class so they don't get bored. That's what I'm trying. So I totally feel identified with the brand. 
How about you? Do you feel identified with the brands, with the values that you are represented in your company? What do you think? Yes, no, a little bit. What do you think? Only one, please. A little bit. A little bit. For example, which values or why do you feel identified or why not? We are not going to share this video to your boss. No worries. <laughs> uh -huh, everyone. Come on, let's participate. In my case, no. Why not? Uh, I don't know because <laughs> uh, if, uh, if send, uh, yeah. uh -huh. I don't know if <laughs> not for me. You just don't feel <laughs> identified with them. No, no, it's no. not. Okay, all right. That's fine. That's fine. Uh -huh, everyone. How about you? Do you feel identified with your brands or not? Yeah, in my case, I remember when the account begins, when the account starts. Mm -hmm. and my, boys, my, my boss told me you want to be the quality and I said okay and now I feel like that that is my account if you need something ask to me it's that's my it's kind of my, my baby you know <laughs> <laughs> so you totally feel identified with them yes in my case yes very good so that is different for all of us People who works at Coca-Cola, for example, not all of them might feel identified with the brand. Actually, there are some people that they don't consume the same product. There are some people who works for Claro, for example, and then don't feel represented by the product. They actually use another product. So it's not an obligation that you have to feel identified with the brand you work for. So that's depends on each person. So let's think about this and we are going to answer these questions. Think about your own company, the company or your work. For example, what does your business or what does your company do? In my case, for example, what does my company do? Well, they teach classes online, not only English, but another different subjects. That's what they do. How about you, everyone? What about your companies? What do, uh, what do they do? In, mm -hmm. in case, uh, I don't feel identified with my company, but I like the activity that, that we do because we general, generate uh, electric energy. Oh, very good. That's good. What else? How about you, everyone? What does your company do? Teacher, in my company, well, I work in a group uh, in the, the organizations is um, Logistic, logistics, right. uh, logistics um, group. Sounds good, sounds good. So think about the activities, all right, that you do. In your case, because you work for a company, you are offering a service, right? But imagine that you have your own business. Imagine that you sell pan dulce, for example, sweet bread. Ah, what does your product do? Well, I offer the best sweet bread in El Salvador, for example. Now, question number two. What problem do you solve for your customers? Think about your job. 
what problems do you solve for your customers? In my case, their credit problems. Very good. In my case, IT, IT problems. Okay, sounds good. Anything else? Okay, who are your three main competitors? Hmm, what do you think? We have a lot of competitors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's IT, it's IT, IT company. And we have a lot of company in El Salvador. A lot of competitors, all right. Yes. So you have the obligation to be the best ones. Yes, and the, and the best um, customer service too. Very yes, good. It's important. So you see, that's another thing that you company do. Ah, we are trying to offer the best customer service. Very good. What else, everyone, anyone else? Who are your three main competitors? What do you think? Well, uh, this question is about competitors. Is in another company that do the same? Yes. Remember okay. that, for example, teaching online, online classes, we are not the only company who do that, right? There are different companies that they are offering the same. So that is my competitor. How about you? What are the main competitors in your job? In, in my case, we have, um, because our company produce about the 40% of, of, of energy in the El Salvador. Another competitors are and Nehapa Power, La Geo, and, and others. Very good. Good example. Excellent. Anyone else? Three main competitors? What do you think? In my case, In my case yeah. it says the pet, the performance. Okay. Uh, I don't know, you, you don't know anything about it, but it's Credit Karma. And we have, um, um, oh my gosh, uh, Convergis ah. or Unique. That's another one who give the same um, <laughs> service. The Thanks. same service, yes. All right, very good. Isabel, what were you saying? In my case, um... Our competition is, it will be um, a Steiner, a Distributora San Carlos, mm -hmm. for example. All right, very good, excellent. So you see, different companies, different competitors. Now, next question, think about it. What is the primary message? that your company wants to convey to your customers. When we are talking about convey, it's like deliver, share. So what is the most important message that your company tries to share to your customers? Huh? What do you think? Expensive or high quality? a nice customer service. So I don't know, what is the primary message that you are trying to share to your customers? In my company teacher, uh, well, we offer to the customers that we have the best and the fast service uh, with a great customer service. Very good, very good. What else? Anyone else? For me, teacher, to provide this the solution and IT and strategy, the best solution for the customers. 
Excellent. Very good. Very good. Anyone else? The primary message that you try to share to your customers. What do you think? In my case, that uh, we really, really wants to help them with the credit trouble that they have. Very good. Excellent. Now, the last question. What are five adjectives or five words that best describe your company? Don't give me sentences, only words. Five words. What do you think? What words comes to your mind when you think about your company? But adjectives, adjectives. Adjectives or words. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can be verbs, can be nouns, not only adjectives, five words in general that best describe your company. Technology. <laughs> Technology, very good. What else? Everybody? Uh huh. My gosh, no one. So you don't, <laughs> you don't, you, I know that you want to say a lot of words, but. <laughs> You don't find the words in this moment. Remember the adjectives that we studied. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my strong goodness. strategy. <laughs> strong, yes, strong strategy, okay. Everybody, what about you? I mean, in this case, if you are thinking about negative words, I mean, that's okay. Just tell me five words that describes your company. Could be positive or negative. Remember what I mentioned at the beginning. When we see a brand, sometimes we can have a positive image or a negative one. That's depend on each person. Uh-huh. What else? Useless, handy. It's different, but in a good way. <laughs> good, good relationship good relationship very good different but in a good way i like that <laughs> that sounds like unique maybe excuse me how how do you say when i'm sorry how do you, you say when at buen trato <laughs> buen trato yeah that's what you mean mm, i'm not sure let me check I think it's another adjective for the company. Good treatment. Good uh, treatment. treatment. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Thank you. That's good. That's a good one. So if you see everyone answering these questions, what we are doing is basically talk about product branding. Okay. If you think about any brand, we can answer these questions about it. Okay, and that is exactly what we are going to do. Now we are going to work in groups. I wanted to choose a well-known product or a service, the ones that you prefer. If you want to think about a national product, that's fine. If you want to think an international one, it's okay, no problem. And answer the questions exactly the way that we just did. For example, imagine that you want to talk about Samsung. So Samsung's, they have a lot of products, but think about specifically their cell phones, the Galaxy one. Okay, so what does Samsung do? What do their products do? And you start answering, ah, they offer, for example, if we are talking about the cell phones, ah, they offer a high quality camera. They offered or they have, a very luxury image, for example, they are very useful, um, not so expensive, well, some of them. <laughs> so then you can think, ah, what problem do they solve to their customers? And you can start thinking about that. 
So what I want you to do in this moment is to think about a company, national or international, and I want you to answer these questions. Is it clear, the activity, everyone? Yes? ¿Se entiende qué van a hacer? The same, the same uh, question. Exactly, the okay. same ones. Now, in this moment, I don't want you to talk specifically about your job. I just want you to choose another company. For example, imagine you can think, okay, I'm going to talk about uh, what? Texaco. Okay, perfect. So, Ian, you start answering these questions. No, I don't want to talk about Texaco. I will talk about Super Selectus. Okay, perfect. So what does your business offer? What do they do? Ah, and you start answering all these questions. Okay? I'm going to send the questions on WhatsApp groups. My recommendation is if you are going to work in teams, try to choose the product a little bit fast. Sometimes there is where you lose a lot of time thinking about a product. So just pick a product, don't complicate too much, and then answering the questions. Now, important, try to use the vocabulary that we are learning and don't use words in Spanish, okay? Now, I already sent the questions on WhatsApp group. We are going to be working in teams. If you are alone in a group or nobody is talking, just let me know and I'm going to switch you to another team. Okay, now just let me open up the groups. Give me a second. Okay, very good, here we go. Let's go and practice. Don't forget that at the end, you are going to present the information and I will be asking to all of the members of the group, okay? Let's go to work. Okay, what, what brand do you like? I was thinking in Pizza Hut. <laughs> okay, it's Pizza Hut today. Okay, Pizza Hut. What is the first question? Um, Let me tell with you. Your business or product do? Well, we sell the the best pizza in town. <laughs> well, hmm. I think. What do you think? Is that? Is that right? Do you think no. Pizza Hut it's the best pizza? Yes, I think so. It's a better pizza. Actually, I don't like it. Not you so don't like it? <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> you don't like pizza or you or you don't like Pizza Hut? I don't like anyone. Really? <laughs> yes, I don't like it. I prefer burger. Especially really? Burger King. Okay. A lot of people prefer burgers. Well, yeah. uh, what does the business or product do? So yeah, we offer pizza. We offer the best pizza in town. Um, oh, oh, take another one. I think, um, mm, Dell computers or Dell computer, yeah, yes, yes. What does your business make a computer? No, 
Yes. Okay. Make a computer. Make a computer. Let me, let me write. Mm -hmm. Okay. Isabel, are you there? Are you there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. The first one, what's your business? What does your business? Make a computer. Is 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 correct? Say that. Yes. Okay. Yes. And then product do. Um, mm -hmm. Product do. Product do. It's a computer. Yes, it's the same. Uh -huh. The same. Yes. Okay. The second one. What problem do you solve for? Can you can answer it for millennials. Well, you can answer the same. And you can synchronize your 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 phone with your PC or your computer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. Mm -hmm. What else? You can, you can hear music. Yes. Actually, if you have the... Uh, you can count your calories or your... If you do exercise. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Actually, okay. you have your phone on, on the watch, so... Yes, um, yes. I think that is okay. We have more than three. And who are your three main competitors, direct or indirect? Samsung. Let me know. Let me know. Has a has a, a beautiful and cheap uh, uh, smartwatch than than Samsung. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Nelson, are you, are you there? Yes. Rodas. What do you think? <coughs> Shampoo? For me? Products for me or okay. other products? No, for me it's okay, brand. Shampoo brand. But we need to select a name of the brand. Jamie? I understand that we have to choose uh, one product that is uh, exists in the mark in the in the in the in the market. I I, I understood that. I don't know, baby Johnson. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that could be. I, I okay. I I feel that it's good. <laughs> Milder baby. <laughs> Milder baby. <laughs> Okay, we we can we can use that brand, maybe Johnson or or Milder. Milder. <laughs> okay, no problem, no problem. Okay, go ahead, come on, come on. What the, else? The first the first uh, question is, uh, what does your your pro do? I believe that is the first question. Okay, I don't know what 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 else do this this brand. If you don't, if you know what else do, you can say maybe a soap. I think soap is a long. I don't remember. Uh, first of all, it was your 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 hair. Uh huh. Mm, second, that is a good shampoo for babies. Mm, okay. And another objective is the the hay, the hay mm, big. So that could be used for the family. <laughs> E uh, and, and the smell. I don't know if if is so correct. Smell 
oler rico, <ríe> huele rico, no sé cómo decir. Smile, smile. Oh, smell, 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 smell good. <ríe> Smell, no sé cómo decir smell, ri, eh, huele rico, smell, smell. El out, el out, teacher. You can just say smell good or has a good fragrance or oh, smells so good. Right. Yeah. But you cannot use rich, like smell rich. No, because rich is for money. For money. Mm -hmm. Yes. Or you okay, can say you, has a good smelling, things like that. Okay. okay, has a good fragrance. Fragrance. <laughs> the another question is what product do you solve do you solve for your customers? Ah yeah. Oh, yeah. Always the better pizza. And the other one is um Downside, down the, Obvious. down the red roof, mm -hmm. only one, the better pieces, just the better pieces, yes. like that. Always the best, always the best pizzas. Always the best, the best pizzas. Yeah. Better, always better. the best pizzas, and it's like, what we what we what primary message that we are the the best quality pizzas mm -hmm. and hot every every time yeah and on time every time yes on time And maybe is that the primary message? Oh. Yeah. Brands. Mm. Mm. And what what do you think about it? What another 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 convey to the customer? What do I you think? I think the message is the um the people uh, the people think is a uh, good product uh, uh, a different the other brand in is complete the product is complete the the brand is the and what do you say uh, the um, gigabyte um, potentially um, uh. memorize um, mm. uh, Sorry. Have you been writing? Did Branding. you write the five adjectives? Or not? Negative adjective. We can yeah, we can find find five. <laughs> yes, the software is not uh, is not uh, compatible com Compatible, not match with, not match. <laughs> match with, doesn't, uh, match. Sa doesn't, doesn't match with Samsung or or, or other or, or Android, for example, doesn't match with Android. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's class. It's exclusive. The the. From iPhone, yes. Yes, it's exclusive. The the system, the system is very very exclusive, and the connector or the char the char. But when you try to charge the battery, you can you can do it with uh, with other or Samsung or LG or other brand. Just I just Apple. Yeah. Oh. Okay, what else? Uh, it's as close as yes. 
it doesn't yes. match with another's. This is negative. Um, yes, I think that negative. Um, family environment. <laughs> family environment. How do you say that, teacher? Is correct family environment? Yeah, okay. why not? Okay, like okay. Um, ambiente familiar? Yeah, you can say family environment or family atmosphere, home environment. Okay. Family environment. Quality? Oh, yes, quality. The best flavor, I don't know. We have, so we have delicious, hot, fast, family environment, and quality. We have the five words. Okay. Okay, we finished. That's we finished. good. Wow, so efficient. You are the first team to finish. I like that. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to give the two more minutes. I'm going to tell the other teams to hurry up and then we're going to go back to the main room, okay? It's okay. You can start gossiping, but <laughs> in gossiping. English. Only in English, okay? You can gossip. Okay, we're gonna gossip. <laughs> All <Okay>. right. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, what question are you answering or did you finish all of them? We answer all of them. <laughs> oh, very good. Very efficient. I like that. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to check another team to see if they finished. Then we are going to go back to the main room, okay? Okay. Very good. The software. Yeah, yeah, the software. Is, is the friendly. software is, 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 is uh, the, uh, the word. Is it to work. use? Is it to use, yes. Yeah, because mm -hmm. in, you see uh, Apple is more, it's difficult, but Dell is friendly, the, the system. Okay, everyone. Your, uh, your Sorry. process, your process. Uh, I have a problem with the adjective. It's, it's so hard to <laughs> think about it. <laughs> remember, it, remember that it can be adjectives or any word. It can be verb. For example, uh -huh. if you're uh -huh. talking about cell phone, what comes to your mind when you talk about Samsung, for example? Ah, fast, beautiful, elegant, mm -hmm. expensive, mm -hmm. I don't know, things okay. like that. Okay. It's yeah. not necessary, okay. only adjectives. It can ah. be verbs, noun, words in general. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. you got two more minutes, so I hurry agree. up. Okay. Okay. Resolve the problem. Aha, did you finish? Not yet. Not what yet. what question are you answering? The, the last, last one. one. Okay, hurry up. All of the teams already finished. So you are the only one who hasn't finished yet. Remember oh. that it's not necessary to be only adjectives. It can be words in general. It can be verbs. It can be nouns. <laughs> Any kind of words. What is your product? Mil shampoo milder. Nice. So when you think about that shampoo, what is the first things that comes to your mind? Softly. That's a one word. What else? What comes to your mind? A is good that... product. Very good. Is that expensive? Is that cheap? Is that useful or is useless? It's popular or not? Is friendly? Is eco-friendly? Is for babies or for adults? Those words, you can use them. Does have a high quality or not? So think about the words. You have only one minute. Hurry up, hurry up. Oh. Adjective uh, that we are writing. Okay, uh, quality, carefully, and cheap. Affordable, we can use. 
Ok. A por a vos. Softly. Mm -hmm. Soft. Yes. Mm. Is popular. Yes, it's popular. Okay, time's up. Let's go back to the main room. We are going to wait for the rest of your classmates. Okay, let's go back. Time's up, time's up. Okay, we are waiting for the rest of the class. Okay, everybody, let's go back. Time's up. How was the practice? Easy or difficult? Uh huh. Easy, difficult. 50-50, what do you think? 50-50. 50-50. What was the most difficult question? For me, the finale, the adjectives. For all, for all groups, yeah. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. And the rest of you, everyone, what was the most difficult question? The last one too. The last one too, ah. <laughs> What else? Another team? What was the most difficult question? Or the last one for everyone? Ah, interesting. So imagine that you go on an interview and they say, okay, give me three adjectives to describe yourself. <laughs> that would be a difficult question, huh? <laughs> hmm. Maybe we will do that practice. We will do that, maybe. Okay. Now let's present the information. Let's start with the team number one. In the team number one, I got Fatima, Isabel, Oscar, and Rosalina. So let's start with Fatima. Fatima, can you tell me the products that you picked? The product we pick is the, the computer. Okay. And what does your business or the product do? is make or create a computer, a height computer with the customers for help there in their works or studies. Ah, okay, okay. Let's see, Isabel, what problems do you solve for your customers? do it um, more easy the the form of work for example uh, work in, in home okay anything else another problem that you solve for your customer Okay, uh, Rosalina, who are your three main competitors? Okay, for the Ellis, our product, the competitor, uh, Lenovo, uh, HP, uh -huh. Acer, and Acer. Nice, okay, very good, very good. Oscar, what is the primary message do you want to convey to your customers? Um, I think teacher at the security and the buy the product. Um, okay. Loyalty the product uh, uh, for customer. Ah. Um, client. So do you offer a guarantee to your customers? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Mm, okay. All right. And everybody in the team, tell me the adjectives that best describe your company. Remember in this question says five adjectives or words. So it can be verbs, can be nouns, can be adjectives, can be adverbs, any kind of words. So team, tell me five words. 
Ajá. Is a product is fast. Okay. What else? Powerful. Nice. I'm sorry, Rosalina, I didn't listen to you. Excuse me, powerful? Powerful, okay. Oscar says, nice. What else? Two more words. Capacity. Capacity. <laughs> Capacity. All right. Very good. Very good. Uh, Rosalina, what was about you? Uh, what was what were you saying? Um say uh, if I <laughs> you forgot. No, yeah, no, no, no. She say high capacity. I have only three. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry, miss. No worries, no worries. It's a, it's a strong, uh, a strong brand uh, around the world. Very good. That's the one. Okay, team. Excellent analysis. I like that. Very good job. Very good job. Okay. In the team number two, I had Erika, Holman, and Mirna. So let's start with Mirna. Tell me, what is the product that you picked? Which is an Apple, the, the iPhone of Apple. The brand. This okay. Is, this is smartphone and with a specific um, system, the EOS system. Okay. So, what does the product do? It's cell phone. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> it's the uh, it's smart. It's the uh, yeah, it's a cell phone. <laughs> the Apple, what does the product do is for a uh, result that for call or for send message or for um check your email in, in the in the in the cell phone. Can you take photos? Can you yes. listen to music? Yes. Um, uh. um Yes, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Holman, tell me the answering the question number two. What problem do you solve for your customers? Uh huh. Holman, you there? I cannot listen to you. I, uh, when you when you need a a good quality in your, in, in a phone, you you can buy an iPhone because the quality is very is very high, and the is the security is it's very good. It's a cell phone very exclusive in, in, in this software. And okay. The security mention when you when you lost your your phone is it's impossible. I I think to. To, to unlock. Ah, okay. That's something that makes different mm. to another one. Sounds good. Okay. It's very secure. It's very uh, safe. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. I like that. Very good. Now, Erika, uh, yes, tell me. The very good, good, good quality, high quality. Very good. Okay, the next question, Erica. What are your uh, who are your three main competitors? Okay, we talk about Samsung because they have interesting and and beautiful cell phones too. We talk about Xiaomi, Redmi, because they have similar. Uh, Characteristic phone, cell phones, and cheaper than in this case, Apple. Nice, very good, very good. 
Okay, now, what is the primary message that the company wants to convey to their customers? Volunteer in the group to answer that question. We're talking about the high quality and expensive price that they, is it the primary message that they, <laughs> they, they, that they want? They are high quality, but it's expensive. So it's like high quality, but a little bit exclusive, right? Exactly. Okay. And the last one, tell me, team, tell me the five words or adjectives that describe the company. Uh huh. High, high quality. quality. High quality. What else? Fancy, exclusive. Uh huh. Very good. What else? Good position in the market. All right. Holma, what do you say? Innovation. Very good. Excellent job, team. Nice. I like that. Very good job. Very good job. Okay, let's move on to the next team. In the next team, it was Ivan, Jamie, and Nelson. So let's start with Ivan. What was the product? Uh huh. Ivan, are you there? Can I listen to you? Okay. Jamie, what was the product? It was a uh, Milda shampoo. Which one? Milda shampoo. Okay. And what was the uh, what does the product do? It was the uh, hair of the babies or the homes. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Nelson, what problem do you solve to your customers? Microphone. Sorry, teacher. Okay, that product don't irritate the eyes. It is it, healthy for your hair and your body because because a product product meet their cells a soap, a cream for the body, and also shampoo. Okay, nice. And what is the primary message that the company wants to convey, everyone? Members in the team? Jamie or Nelson? Uh, the okay. primary message. Continue, continue, continue. Uh, the most useful, the shampoo for your baby. <laughs> This is the message that we want. We want to communicate to our customers. <laughs> nice, very good, very good. And the last one, tell me the five words to describe the company. Quality, high quality. Okay. Care, what else? Careful, carefully. Okay. What else? Softly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Two more words. Okay. Popular. Popular, okay. And convenient. Convenient, very good team. Excellent job, I like that. Okay, in the last job, well, I think I got only two people, Magdalena and Pamela, right? Only you two? Yes. Just okay. Me. So Magdalena, tell me, what was the product? It's Pizza Hut. Ah, okay. So what does your product do? Pizza and Italian food. Okay. Pamela, what problem do you solve? Um, we solve the hunger of people. <laughs> <laughs> we we uh, offer a, a very fast delivery service. Nice. And to uh, get food for parties or other events. Nice. Okay. Very good. Very good. Aha. Uh -huh. Tell me, Magdaleno, your main three competitors. Well, Little Caesar, 
and Papa John's pizza and uh, Pollo Campero. They produce pizza too. Oh, that's true. Oh, very mm -hmm. good. Very good. They I are. like it. And do you like it? Do you like pizza? Actually, I don't like, but <laughs> I, I eat anyway. Pamela, <laughs> do you like it? Yes, I love pizza. Very good. Okay, Pamela, what is the primary message that you want to convey to your customers? Uh, that we offer always the best pizza, the best quality, and hot pizza on time and everywhere. All right, good. And the last one, what are the five words that best describe the company, guys? Delicious. Hot. Delicious. Delicious. Hot. hot. Fast. Fast. Um, the fam family environment. Okay. And the quality. Okay, very good. Okay, team, nice analysis. So if you see everyone, you just describe different brands. And when we are talking about products, branding is because we are talking about brands in general. But also we can do the same with personal branding, okay? This is what we are going to do in another class, but imagine that you are the brand, okay? So imagine if I ask you, what service do you offer to people here in the world? Ah, you are the brand. You have to think about yourself. That's personal branding. Ah, five adjectives that describe yourself. My gosh, ahí creo que se me traban todos. Think about it because we have personal branding too. Very good analysis, I liked it. Be careful with also um, some expressions in grammar, everyone, because I have these words, for example, more easy. Can I say that? Yes, I can. Are you sure? Uh -huh. Easier. Ah, easy ah. is a short adjective. So easier is the best way to compare. They has, can I say that? Ah. Ah. They have, in this case, they is not their person. So it's not necessary to say has. That product don't, can I say that? No, it doesn't. Very it doesn't, it? good. Exactly, because he's third person. Okay? Little details that you have to keep in mind. Be careful. Now, let's just stop thinking about brandings. And now let's think about asking questions. We already answered questions. Now we are going to ask the questions. Okay? Now, look at this. Look at this sentence and tell me what is the correct question. For example, I'm reading a book about travel. Hmm, this is the answer. To get this answer, what must be the question? What do you think? What kind of book are you reading? Ah, very good. What kind of book are you reading? Or keep it simple, what are you reading, right? But what kind of books are you reading? That's a good question. Now look at the number two. Ah, I went to a party. What will be the question? Look, it starts with where and it's ending with last night. Where did you go? Where did you go last night? Do you agree, everybody? Where did you went? Yes. Where did you go or where did you went? Where did you go? If you are using go, you have to use did go. If Very you are, good. Hmm? Uh-huh. Where did you, uh, where, 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 
to where were where were you last ah, night? That's another one. Where were you last night? In this case, because I'm using the verb went, the best idea is to use the verb in the question. But remember, once you had the auxiliary, the verb is always in the base form. So where did you went? No, because we already have the auxiliary, okay? Now, the next one, I'm meeting her at five o'clock. So what will be the question here? Uh -huh. What time are you meeting her? Ah, what time are you meeting her? Do you agree, everyone? Yes or no? Yes, maybe. What time, what time are, are you, you meeting? going to meet her? Or what time are you going to meet at her? What time are you meeting her? So in this case, what is the grammar tense? ING form. Ah, so we are talking about a present continuous. So if we are using present continuous, the best option is to use present continuous in the question too. Remember that in English, we normally use the same structure of the question. If someone is asking you in simple present, well, you answer in simple present. If the question is in past, well, the answer is in past. Now, look at the number four. I arrived yesterday. When do you arrive, maybe? When did you arrive? Okay. Everyone, do you agree? Yes. Yeah, when did you arrive? Ah, oh, I arrived yesterday. Very good. Now, how about these questions? Volunteer for reading the number five. Only one, please. The, the answer. The question. I mean, just read the, the, the answer first. I was drinking orange juice. Very good. So what will be the question, guys? It starts with what and is ending with this morning. What do you think? What did you drink this morning? What did you drink this morning? Mm -hmm. Sounds like a good idea. Another what option? Was drinking this morning. Can you repeat? What was you drinking this morning? Can I use uh, what? Was? Were? What were? What ah. were you drinking? What were you drinking? Very good. So remember, the verb to be for you is where. Now, in the answer again, what is the grammar tense? Past continuous. past continuous. So in the question we are using past continuous too. In the number six, I get to work by train. What do you think everyone? What will be the question? How do you go? How, how, do, you go? how do you go to work? How do you go to work every day? Okay. Everyone, do you agree or do you have another idea? I get to work by train. So what do you think? How do my... I'm sorry, can you repeat? I cannot listen to you. Oscar, can you repeat? Uh, how, how may my train? Okay, a little, little. 
Anyone else? How may I, you get by train? How may you get by train? Okay. Anyone else? How do you come on, come to work every day? How do you come to work every day? All right. So look, in this case, everyone, just be careful with the verb. I'm using the verb get, so we can use the verb get in the sentence too. How do you get to work every day? Or instead of get, we can use go. How do you go to work every day? Nice. Okay, look at the number seven. I'm staying here for two weeks. What will be the question here? How long, how long were you staying here? Ah, how long? Where you stay here? Where you stay You're staying here. here? Ah, okay. Anyone? Do you agree? How long are you staying here? Ah, nice. In this case, the best option is in simple present, right? Because, look, I'm using present. Let's use present. So if you say, how long were you staying here? I mean, the structure is correct, but it must be in, in present. Nice. The last one, um, I finished uh, my homework an hour ago. So what would be the question? When did you finish your homework? When did you finish your homework? Do you agree, everybody? Yes. Yes, when did you finish your homework? Excellent job. So let me ask you everyone, is difficult or easy asking questions to create the questions? What do you think? It's difficult. Difficult, okay. The rest of you, is that difficult or easy? For me, it's difficult, grammar. All right. So most okay, of the time, too. okay, so most of the time, everyone creating questions is a little bit difficult. And what happens is that in English, the question structure is totally different as in Spanish. Because in Spanish, we don't change the structure of the sentence. So for example, in Spanish, we just say something like, eh, comiste. <laughs> That's what we say in Spanish, right? We don't use auxiliary. We don't change the position of the subject. We don't change anything. It's just one word, comiste, right? But in English, it's different because in English, we need auxiliary, we need to change the position of the subject. So that is why we need to practice the questions structure. In this case, we have information questions. That means that first, I need a double H word. Then, if you have an auxiliary, you can use it, do or did, depending on the grammar tense that you're talking about. What do I need next after the auxiliary? Uh -huh. subject. The subject, after the subject? The verb. Very yeah. good, I need the verb. And what happens with the verb? Complement. Then I need the complement, yes. But what the happens have, with the verb? Have to be in simple present. Ah, so basically in infinitive, why? Because you use auxiliary to argue. Correct. Excellent. You have the auxiliary. So the verb doesn't need changes anymore. So basically that is one of the structures. If you have the verb to be, 
Do you need the auxiliary? Yes or no? We don't need just the WH question. Very good. If you have the verb to be, it's different. So you just need the WH question, the verb to be, the subject, and the complement. Okay? Let's do a quick practice. I have here some celebrities. So everybody, you have the opportunity to interview them. Do you know her? What's her name? Shakira. <laughs> All right. Okay, imagine that Shakira is here in the class. Interview her, ask her question, any kind of questions in any grammar tense, ask her. Uh huh. Oh my goodness. Any question? Yes, whatever you want. Uh, maybe what kind of boy do you like? What kind of? Boys do you like? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why not? What kind of boys do you like? Perfect. That's a good question. And if you see, he is using what? What else? Another question. Ask her. Teacher. Yes. Um, where do you live after Piquet think? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Excellent question. And if you see, she's following the structure. Very good. What else? Another question that comes to your mind. How old are when, you? When, when did you work? Okay, how old are you? And can you repeat, Oscar? Where? Uh, uh, when, when do you born? When do you born? Do you mean in the cuando... country? In the country. Oh, where? Where did where, you where, where? Ah, very good. Excellent. Another question for her. Who is your favorite person in the world? Very good. Nice. So you see, you are asking questions, everyone. Very good job. Okay, I have another celebrity here in the class. Ask him questions. Uh huh. Quickly, because he only has two minutes with us. <laughs> Why'd you do that? Why'd you do that? That is a question for him? Yep. <laughs> but what do you do what? You have to be specific. Okay. And <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Guys, imagine. It's difficult, it's difficult, the person. <laughs> This is the president of El yeah. Salvador. You can ask about everything. How much money will you do? Will you give to improve the education? What this are is your the question? Why? <laughs> Why are your what, plans what? for the next year? Uh huh. Teacher. Yes. What is inspiring you for president? Very good. What? Did you inspire to be the president? Nice question. Okay, he's very busy, so he has to go. Now we got another celebrity. Ask him questions. The first question, how are you? How you are? How are you? That's what you mean? Uh, how you how you are? Hmm, what are you trying to ask? Um, como quien eres tú? Primero, ah, la primera, o sea. Who? Como, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who are you? You are. All right. Who are you? Very good question. What else? What, what is your favorite joke? You could be <laughs> Okay, yes, yeah, that's a good question too. What else? 
when when is your next show very good uh -huh. where do you live where do you live very good so you have more questions for cocolito than for the president really <laughs> <laughs> that's interesting. Okay, that's how do, interesting. How do you say cachivo a voz? <laughs> ah, how do you say that phrase? That's interesting. That's interesting. Okay, Cocolito has to go. So, okay, I know that she's dead, so you have to ask her questions in simple past. Go ahead. Can you use we have? <laughs> <laughs> Be careful with that word. That just scares me. <laughs> okay. Ask her questions, but in simple past because she's dead already. Who did kill you? Who did kill you? Oh my goodness. <laughs> what thought... is your favorite? Como sería tu sabor? Your favorite? Oh. Your favorite what? Uh, pri pri nah, uh, principe, what is the, what is the? Prince. Uh, prince, what's your favorite prince uh, for? Ah, uh, no, what is the favorite prince? Uh, it's for, for change and, and, and do, and make the new king or, or, or To be or the queen. next. King, ah, Next okay. King, uh -huh. King. Very oh, good. Mm -hmm. So imagine in this case, Hector says, who is your favorite prince to be the next king or queen? Uh -huh. But I need to change that question in simple past. How can I ask that question in past? Who is your favorite prince? Who is? Who? We have to we have to add the auxiliary verb then. Mm, are you sure? The question is who is who? your favorite prince? What is the verb in this sentence? Who was? Who was? Is, ah, is, is the verb. Do ah, I need auxiliary are, with the verb to are. be? No, no, we need the verb no. the, the verb to be is are. So are are is in simple past was no where uh, is where who was okay remember that where is for plural so who was your favorite prince to be the next king okay or queen nice mm -hmm. another question ask her uh-huh Teacher, what happened? Um, you said in the past. In the past, for the plural is were, for the singular is was. Is right? That's I correct. That? Yes. Remember, in this case, was was is for for you and singular and for third person and for I. Right. Yes. Remember, in this case, we are saying your favorite. Prince. So, ¿de quién estoy hablando aquí? Del favorite prince. It's only one. Si aquí dijese favorite princess, maybe, or favorite eh, in plural, in that case, yes, we have to say where. Who were your favorite princess? Okay, in that case, Yes, plural. But in this case, it's singular. So remember, we have M. I'm sorry, I'm going to change the color. If you say M or is, the past form is was. If the verb to be is are, the past form is were. Simple as that. Okay? Teacher. Yes? If I want to ask her for country, the 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 question is start with what because it's a country what is your favorite country or but in simple past are you visited or are are you no are you visited mm. 
In this case, remember everyone, si usamos un verbo diferente al verbo to be, en ese caso ya no vamos a usar was. Si usan cualquier otro verbo, en este caso your classmate is using visit, do I need the auxiliary? Yes or no? Is it? Ah, uh, I think yes. With you need the auxiliary. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So you can say, it. what countries did you visit when you were alive? Aquí ya no usamos el verb to be because we have a different verb. What country did you visit? Mm -hmm. Is it and, and clear? Mm -hmm. So, oh. listen, I know that this topic is a little bit difficult because most of the time when we are talking, we don't follow the correct structure. A veces cuando estamos hablando, guys, and this is a common mistake, we just say the sentence in affirmative. For example, you say, eh, you went to the beach? And we, that's, that's what we ask. You went to the beach? And just because we give like a little intonation in the end, ah, that's the question. But is that a correct question? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Is with a, is with, a, with an auxiliary for when this right? Ah. Is but in this case, what is the correct structure? Because this one is not a correct question. Esa solo es una oración afirmativa, guys. Mm -hmm. Al que le estamos agregando un question mark. So, ¿cuál sería the correct question? What do Did you, you think? go to the beach? Did That's, you go to the beach? Uh -huh. Did you go to the beach? Simple. So guys, um, because of the time, right? I want to give you the homework to practice and review the questions structure. Okay, remember that this is a topic that you studied in the first levels, in the basics levels. So please everybody review the questions structure, okay? And try to review them in the most common um, grammar tenses. For example, in the simple present, um, in the simple past, that is a very common grammar tense, or in future, okay? So try to review that structure of questions because it's very, very important that. It's not possible that we go to the advanced level without being able to ask questions, okay? Be careful with that. Now, we're going to have a practice. I know that we don't have a lot of time, Maybe we can continue with this activity tomorrow. We have some role plays, but we are not going to do all of them. Let's see, I'm going to change it because we only got 10 more minutes. Okay, I want you to imagine that you move to a new neighborhood, to a new city, okay? Can you see the presentation, everyone? No yet. How about oh. now? Yes? Yep. yep. Okay. I want you to imagine that you are new in a neighborhood. And a student A, remember, you are new in the town. You want to know about the places. You want to know everything about the new um the new city or the new neighbor. And student B, you will be the new neighbor. You have to answer the questions and also ask your classmate questions about their old neighborhood. So what questions can the student A ask? Can you give me examples? What kind of questions can you ask? Where, where, is, where, is, where is the, the supermarket? Very good question. Hey, where is the supermarket? 
Okay, what else? Where is the police station? Good, where is the police station? Now, those are examples of questions that you can ask. Now, the next student, you have to answer those questions. Of course, you have to invent the answer. Ah, the supermarket is two blocks from here. Ah, the supermarket is next to the school. Those are examples. Now, what kind of questions can you ask about their old neighborhood? What do you think? ¿Qué le preguntarían ustedes a alguien que se acaba de mudar a su vecindario? Why you, why, why you change the neighborhood? Okay, why you change your neighborhood? Okay, I, uh, what is missing in this question? Uh, auxilia. Ajá. Why did you change uh -huh. your neighborhood why or you why did you move, right? Um, so that is exactly what we are going to do. We are going to do this role play. I want you to interview your classmates. One of you will be the student A, one of you will be the student B. ¿Se entiende el role play, everyone? Yes. yes? Good. We don't have a lot of time. We have around like five minutes. So let's try to do it faster. We are going to be working in pairs. So remember, one of you will ask the question. The other one has to answer. I'm sending the instructions on WhatsApp's group. Okay. So let's see. If you are alone in a group or nobody is answering you, just let me know and I'm going to move you to another team. Okay, let's see, let's see. Okay, let's go to work everybody. Ask and answer questions. Try to use the best structure. Let's go. Hi, Christian. Are you there? Can you hear me? Yes, yes, right now. Yes. Sorry, sorry. I was muted. Okay. Uh, we are going to make some questions, right? Uh huh. Okay. Uh, using WH question or whatever question? Uh, he, uh, the miss, the miss okay. and uh, what's up, the, the question, no? Any kind of questions, everyone. You can oh, combine, okay. yes, no questions or double H questions. Okay. Okay. Uh, how are you? I need you. What do you feel today? Yeah, I am fine. I'm okay. fine today. Uh, a little busy, but fine. Where uh, do you work? I work in American Park. American Park. Uh -huh. It's close to, to um, I don't know the name, the town. I don't remember the, the So town is... remember the question has to be related to the role play. So Christian, you are a student A. Rosalina, ah, okay, you are the okay. student B. I did, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. The question mm. has to be about the role play. I am the student A, right? <laughs> exactly. Okay. You are new in the neighborhood. You ask me about uh -huh. I, I, some place and some. Yes. Mm -hmm. What What is the supermarket, Rosa? I know uh, in this neighborhood. Oh, oh. Okay. Welcome. The supermarket mm -hmm. have two, and in the in the town, but. 
Uh, you, you know the uh, select the supermarket is close to um to your house. Mm, yes, I I was eating. A... Yeah. I think can be it is to block. No, um, no. teacher is where. Where are the gas station or where is the gas station? It depends. If it is only one gas station, is is where is the gas station? But if you say gas stations, in that case is are because it's plural. Oh. Mm -hmm. So in this case, you can say where is the gas station? It's only one. Okay. Nelson, where where is the the kinder? Kindergarten. Kindergarten. Okay, I can, teacher, I can say the kindergarten, the kindergarten is to blow after the supermarket. Yes, definitely. So okay. remember, you can ask about places, ask about security, ask about, uh, I don't know, uh, touristic places, for example. Ask about everything. Okay. Mm. Uh, where is the the soccer field? Soccer place. To the San Salvador Center, it's right. You are from Saragossa. Wow. All days. It's terrible. The traffic is horrible. Yes. Is that is. Your neighbor is... Um, how is your neighbor? Neighborhood. How is your neighborhood? It's quiet. Really? Do you have any market near for your home? Hi. Because I live on the um, downtown. In the downtown. Downtown. Today. Could be they were. Could be they were my parents. Uh huh. Okay. Or the family who lives with it at the end were my parents. You can say it in both ways. Yes? Uh -huh. They were my parents. Or if you can talk, if you want to talk a lot, you can say the family who lives here was. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah? Uh -huh. All right, time's up. Unfortunately, we don't have more time. Let's go back to the main room. Time's up, time's up. We are going to wait for everyone. Okay, everybody, let's go back. Ah, interesting questions. Okay, let's wait for the rest of your classmates. Okay, everybody, easy or difficult asking questions? What do you think? Difficult. Difficult, okay. Difficult. All right. What is the most difficult 
uh, asking in simple present, asking in simple past, or asking with the verb to be? What is the most difficult one? Uh huh. All of them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, listen, um, I'm a little worried because this shouldn't be an issue in intermediate level. Okay. However, what we can do, um, I can take some minutes of each class for the next of the week to practice this topic. Okay. So we can take at least some 30 minutes, maybe to each class to the rest of this week to improve asking questions. But I need you to make an effort. Try to review a little bit in your free time. I'm going to try to find some links that you can use to practice this topic because in the intermediate level, this shouldn't be a problem. We, but we are going to improve. Okay, we are going to make it. At the end of this week, we are going to be an expert asking questions, okay? Okay, thank you, Very Lisa. good, you're very welcome. Okay, everybody, unfortunately, we don't have more time. So the winner for today is Rosalina. So Rosalina, you really? have to stay, <laughs> yes. The rest of you, you are free to go. Have a good night, everybody, and see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night. Good night. See you. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Okie dokie. <laughs> okay, Rosalina, you are the winner. Yeah. How are you tonight? <clears throat> Tired because I have. Um, a lot of war because the game, Central American Games is coming. I, oh. I have only six weeks and I have a, oof, a lot of problem with the construction. Oh my God. Like that. And then I feel very stressful, but. Oh. I imagine oh, you it's, are it's, it's, running against yeah. time. Yeah, but, my, but another way, my, my, I, I don't know how to say my my hijo más pequeño. I'm my, a little son or my, my youngest. My youngest has only 16 years, but have a, a three months ago is in uh, Puerto Rico <gasps> in a campament for training because uh, right now in our country don't have swimming pool, mm -hmm. all in construction. And then they need a champion, Central American champion swimmer. Wow. And then he need to practice. And for me, I am... Um, I feel, uh, how do you say it's trending? Homesick. Oh, okay. He, he said, Definitely. He, said, he told me, mom, I'm homesick. And I say, oh, okay, the time is finished. Maybe you come back at the end of May and something. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is my, me, miss, I don't know what is the topic to the five minutes with you, but I hate the grammar. <laughs> I know, the, but you know, uh, you are not the only one. It's my, and, it's my weakness. <laughs> and you are not the only one. Believe me, when I had this section individually with the other classmates, some of them, they say the same. Teacher, I hate grammar. <laughs> Teacher, grammar is difficult. I don't like it. And it's totally normal. But don't worry, don't give up. Um, this topic, asking question, is, is a little bit difficult for everyone, yeah. definitely. Because the times of the verb, uh, when you say, I give uh, uh, links, I feel, I hope maybe I improve my grammar because when I talking with the people, the people understand me, but mm -hmm. I, I know I have a lot of mistake with the construction to the sentences. But that's but, why we are here. Yes, improve. yes, for that reason I stay here, yeah, yeah. And that's the attitude. So, uh, as I said, during this week, we are going to try to work on that topic. Okay. Um, for example, tomorrow we can start asking questions only in simple present. Okay. 
Oh, Wednesday, okay. we are going to practice asking questions only in future, for example. Then Thursday, only in simple past. So we will have the time so we can practice that topic a little bit more. Okay? And give the, some link for that. I will, yes. Okay, okay. But uh, I'm going to search them tomorrow because I need to verify that the practice is not so complicated because okay. I don't want you to feel stressful, right? <laughs> yeah, definitely. So uh, I don't know if there is any questions that you may have about the class or about the platform or... I, 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 I say that some, believe me, I have uh, maybe seven months ago for... Insa for 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 your your oh you've been studying yeah Insa for like for six it, months be, yeah because it's because I I, I think is uh, is very starting the the English I know some because <clears throat> for for study outside the country I need to talk for <laughs> Sur survive <laughs> but, definitely but in that case you are the best the best the best the best teacher oh, thank and you i hope <laughs> i hope i hope in the next level you stay with us because you so. pronounce, your pronunciation is very nice uh, you explain a lot i i feel very happy with you <laughs> thank believe you. me believe me believe me believe me you are great Thank you. Because I'm you, glad you, you like you, it. You interest to to the the student. I you, do. You, yes, you only know uh, make a schedule and something in whatever. No, I I feel you you have interest with with us. I, I feel yeah. very nice with you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank with you. Me. No, and actually, uh, I do care. Um, where, do you live? where do you live, Miss? I live in La Paz. Here okay. is eh, oh. <laughs> no, the name is El Rosario, El Rosario La Paz. I don't know if you know, it's near uh, near to Comalapa, near to yeah, the airport. I know, I know. I know. Oh my goodness. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> so yes. somewhere like that. Uh, but it's so, yeah. nice, the place. A little bit hot, <laughs> but yes, yeah. yes. Definitely. But the road is new, no? Ah uh, yeah, it is. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, but, but I, I, but I live, that? I live in the in the street that goes to Zacatecoluca. So mm -hmm. I don't, uh huh. Mm -hmm. I, saw, I know the place. <laughs> ah, and, very good. Yeah, <laughs> and, and you, 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 um, you learn English in El Salvador? Yes, I did. Really? <laughs> yeah, actually, I studied at University Evangelica. So, ah. uh huh. What? I just travel some, every day. Everything. One thing that helped me to improve my English is because I were volunteering with different organizations that come uh -huh. from the United States. Uh -huh. So I always try to uh, be a volunteer, talking to them, helping people. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, that helped me a lot. <laughs> yeah, because you, your um, pronunciation is so nice. So you understand all Thank when you're you. talking. Yeah. Oh, yes. that's great. <laughs> Let's improve my English in my confidence. Thank mm -hmm. Thanks. I'm glad you liked it. And I'm here to help. So every time that you had questions or every time that you need extra help with some links or with the platform mm -hmm. or in general, I always says to my students, if you need to review a topic, maybe it's not part of the class. But if you want an extra practice of a specific topic, you can tell me and I will try to help you. Okay. okay. Thank you, Miss. You're very Thank welcome. You. Well, we don't have our time. <laughs> I'm super happy uh, that you like it too. And I truly hope that we can see each other in the next level, maybe. But we never I, know. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. Believe yeah. me. Believe me. <laughs> me Thank too. you, Miss. Okay, so Rosalina, have a yeah. beautiful night and see you tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night.